So today we're going to make some tasty chicken mash. Now, we're at 100% and we're about to start the microwave. So I've set the microwave to five minutes. It's already down to four minutes because, well, you know, whatevs. Um, so there's two cups of water, one with the mildly offensive slogan on it from the Jim Jeffries concert that I went to, concert, show, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then this, you add those two cups of water into here. You can put it in the bag for about 10 to 12 minutes and then it rehydrates and you've got yummy yummy food. Haven't tried this one before but I've tried this brand's many of their stuff. There's a breakfast one that is delicious, my favourite. There's chicken, there's beef and vegetables and potato and all of that sort of stuff. But this is the first time I'm trying this today. So, da 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 da, 3 minutes and 21 out of 5 minutes to go. We're down to 97%. I'm just showing you a few things I got. So the cooked breakfast, that's my fave. Yum yum, delicious. Roast beef and vegetables, mm, equally delicious. Roast chicken, there you go. So that's my roast chicken, as promised. Now, this is a premium one done by the same company. I've never tried this before, but i um, going to try it soon. I've got a mushroom bolognese, which I've also... I've not tried this one yet, but that's what's in it. And also a cottage pie, which I also haven't tried. Now, I got all these from Survival Supplies Australia. I've made about five orders from them actually, because they're really, really good. They have some really amazing stuff on their website as well, which I can't afford yet, um, including a pedal powered thing that I could charge up something with. Nothing big, but say, maybe <laughs> maybe a phone. Um, and get a bit of exercise while I'm actually um, working. Be okay, about 14 seconds to go. We are down to 92%. Now I will stress that you absolutely need no other things other than this particular bag. If you're out hiking or if you don't want to wash up or whatever a spoon would probably be um the only thing you need or something to stir with um see how it says 500 ml two cups all mount everest fill line this actually has the fill lines here so you just have to fill the water up if you don't have anything to measure it you just fill it up to that line and then this this bit rips here you can actually make a plate out of it um, so yeah, no washing up, um, unless you want to wash up your spoon or whatever you stir it with. Um, me, I wanted to be a little bit different, so I purchased one of these, um, just so I didn't miss any and so I didn't have to dig for any within the, the bag when I cooked it, and just so I could sort of watch it cook. So I put the stuff in there, put the top on for the 10 or 15 minutes they ask, and then I can eat it. Um, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to let that water go around for a little bit longer just because I talk so much trying to explain that. Um, I want it to be boiling. So that's what it looks like inside the bag. Now sometimes some of these have two sachets inside it. They have this like sort of sitting like this but they also will have a, a mashed potato bag separately sometimes which I find mildly annoying but it's because when you open it up, all the sort of dust from this stuff is on the bag, on the potato bag, and then you sort of make a mess. But if you're camping, who cares? And these are, like, delicious. They may not look, like, amazing, but they're all delicious, all the ones I've tried thus far. So I'm really excited to try this new one. It looks like a sort of a mix of my breakfast favourite because it's got cheese, uh, mashed potato, and only difference being it's kind of got what it seems it's got uh, vegetables and chicken so let's see what it looks like so this is what it looks like in the container and in a moment I'm going to add some boiling water or very hot water okay the first one oh, it's, it's hot <laughs> 
Um, and then you need to stir it because all the sort of there's all the sort of bits that need to be just stirred. That'll just coagulate if you don't. So I'm gonna stir all of it together. I mean, you might want to give it a quick stir at the end, just in case any of the bits of sort of stuff haven't mixed in properly, but yeah. that's a good start, I reckon. Okay, so now I need to put the top, the top on. Mm. Yum yum. Okay, so that's sitting there like that. Okay, so that's ready. It's doing its thing. Very exciting. The other thing I wanted to mention, it's sort of not for one person, it's kind of for two, maybe three if you're not someone that eats a lot. Um, which is another reason why I got this, so I could split it in half, so I could cook up one half one day and use it again another day, but I'm a bit hungry, so I'm going to eat this, and if I don't eat it all, I'm going to eat the rest cold. And if you're interested in the nutrition information, it does say servings per pack one, but this is pretty big. Um, and the serving size is 675 grams once prepared. So that is the nutritional information and what's in it. All this sort of stuff. And whatever it is, it's delicious. <laughs> so yeah, check that out. Mm. And yeah, they last a really long time. So... How about that? Good for a power outage. Or, I would recommend cheaper than Uber Eats. Um, this is a two pack. You can get a single one, but they're, I think, $9.90 or something. This was $15 something, and this obviously serves more than two people. And it doesn't give you that feeling you get, you know, when you've had McDonald's or KFC. As much and as yummy as KFC and McDonald's are. I always, if I have it, I haven't had it for ages because I'm in the middle of nowhere, um, but it doesn't give you that yucky feeling after you've eaten it. It's real nice and um, don't doesn't give you that sick feeling. Well, it doesn't give me that sick feeling anyway. Um, really, really good. So don't be scared with what it looks like. It's tasty. Um, and it's hot because you're making it yourself with your hot water, <laughs> um, which you've probably got a kettle to boil, but I don't have the ability to boil a kettle because they're at least 2,000 watts mostly or I could use my hot plate but like I couldn't be bothered I wanted something that was easy to pour and that I wasn't going to pour all over myself hence the microwave and the two cups I'll also note that it does say freeze dry so I've been saying dehydrated I think that is correct what I'm saying but in case I'm not in, not correct well that's what it is freeze dry on the bag <laughs> And I do stress, absolutely no refrigeration required for any of their meals, these back counter cuisine ones. And like I said, this one, I think is made by the same guys as this one, but I haven't tried it yet, but was curious, curious to try, because it sounds delicious. Okay, so I think it's been time, I've just decided to mash it up. Looks delicious. Mm. Probably prefer the breakfast one <laughs> because it's just so yummy. Um, but look at this. Can I try a piece? Mm, yum yum. I want to get a bit of chicken in there though. Mm. This is really really nice. Yep. Happy happy. Um, anyway, I'm gonna continue to eat. Um, I'll see how much I can eat, but yeah, yum yum, delicious. Um, and look, vegetables that I'm too slack to cook myself um, under general circumstances, so how about that? 
Okay, so that was a bit of all right. So I've eaten it all. Oh, there's a bit. I missed a bit. Got to eat that. Didn't even share it with Fifi. Um, I just thought I'd bring to your attention. See, this one that I showed you that I haven't tried yet. Um, you know how I said it might be the same company? It certainly is. So Back County Foods Limited. Now, this has some extra information on the back that the other ones don't. So I just wanted to read. So it says, unlike traditional dehydration, freeze drying, better locks in nutrition, flavour and texture, removing more moisture, which improves shelf life. It also reduces weight and does not require any extended boiling to rehydrate fully. And unlike wet retort packs, no idea what that is, freeze, or maybe that's the MREs we're talking. I'm not sure. I have videos on MREs if you want to watch them. Freeze-dried food is much lighter, Fifi's here, with a more natural colour and texture. Whatever your need from extreme expeditions or overnight ambles to emergency rations, you now have the option of choosing from an enticing range of super convenient lightweight delicious and nutritionally sustaining meals this is more satisfying than anything you get delivered cold on uber eats uh, that's for sure and a lot cheaper like i said you can get one single pack for i think 9.99 ish this one was 15 dollars something ish uh, you can get them all over um all over australia in shops as well as online and as I said, highly recommend Survival Supplies Australia. What an amazing store. Great customer service. Always sends my orders out like same or next business day. Like, and they get here really quickly. And remember, I'm in the middle of nowhere. So if someone, you know, isn't sending out orders for five days after I've made them, for example, which is not these guys. These guys, same or next business day, they're in the mail. I get my notification. No dramas. Everything's in there that I've ordered. I've never had to go, hey, you missed, I've only got six meals and I ordered seven or, or anything like that. They've always come in time, always tasty. Um, like I said, just check my other video about the MRE, which I think is the first video that I made when I come to Norseman. Um, and then, yeah, check these ones out. Don't, don't check out their website, but um, if you don't like buying online, you can also go into multiple stores. Um, just look on on the Back County Cuisine website and uh, search by State of Australia or wherever you are. They, they sell all over the world in various locations, as you'll see. Um, and that'll tell you where you can go and buy them in person. Yum, yum. Um, still favourite is the breakfast one. Mmm, delicious. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you've learnt something. Um, and yeah, save all that money and um, cold food um, or missing food that doesn't even arrive from Uber Eats. Get some of this stuff instead. Um, really long expiry dates. Nothing to worry about. Check it, check it. There's pictures of them all here, but don't worry about any of them if they look like not appealing. They all taste really good that I've tried so far. I've not tasted one of these meals that I went, that's disgusting. Okay, so I've decided to add a little bit of a bonus to this video. Today I'm going to cook up this. Now, I've put in the same container as I did the last one. As mentioned, it can be cooked in the bag, no trouble, just add up hot water. This one has two bags though, so the mashed potato, you put the water in and close it. And this you put that part in and close it. So, I just thought I'd add a little extra to this video. I've just added it all together, like I put the potato on one side. And the, I don't know how to say it, Cockavin, I don't know, um, serves too, so, um, yep, yeah, I'll have at least half of it, maybe more, we'll see, um, because there's just me and my dog, and my dog doesn't really eat any of this, well, she would, but <laughs> I don't like to share it with her, so, uh, just heating up the water now, and we'll see what happens. So, yeah, just show you the instructions of if you're going to put it in there. You just seal it back up with uh, one cup of boiling water. That is the potato. And this particular one, one and a quarter cups of boiling water. And it's all in there and it smells real nice. Looks like there's 
maybe more than what I got out of the mill yesterday. You know, the normal ones. I don't know. Um, we'll see at the end, but yeah, it smells good. Okay, look at this. Looks pretty delicious. Tastes delicious. I've already had a mouthful. Yum. Definitely premium, I would say. But still, those other ones are really good too. The non-premium options are really, really, really tasty too. But this was this is um extremely tasty. Yum, yum. Okay, I've had a few more spoonfuls. Really nice. Um, I would say the onion is a little bit... It kind of is a bit overpowering. But um, other than that, it's good. Um, but if you don't like onion, don't uh, grab this because you're not going to like it. Um, all the other ones I've tried are fairly um, non-offensive. Sort of no great sort of something that stands out like this onion but I just thought I'd let you know um yeah the onion is pretty full on um still okay but um I might actually prefer the non-premium versions okay thanks again for watching um and of course it's worth a try um to see what something tastes like that comes out of a bag um